Okay, people, are you still okay? <coughs> okay, doctor. Okay, great. Okay. You understand my lecture, by the way? So basically what we are we have done just now is about we would like to estimate the amount of water okay how much water need to be treated so how do we estimate that it is actually related to the population okay so i have an example with you guys so if we can look at this example and try to calculate the daily water demand if you want to write it down first just to do a little bit of calculation that would be very interesting right guys so how do we do this okay so let's get, uh, read through the questions. Okay, for example one, the population in the year 1985, it says that the population is 33,300. So you write it, write it down in symbol and it looks like this, okay? The P1985 is equal to 33,300. Okay, it's the same. Right, the second uh, information that has been given is the population in the year 2015. Okay, and that population is 67,300. So let's just write it down. Okay. The population for the year 2015 is... Okay. 67... 1,300, yes, it's 67,300, and this is also 67,300. Okay, heavy industrial area is 40 hectare, so heavy industrial area is 40 hectare, and the light industry area is 75 hectare. Okay, so the information is given. Okay, so those information are also important, so let's take it out. Uh, put it there, okay. Heavy industries 40, 40 hectares, and light industry area is 75 hectares. Okay, daily water demand per capita at the end of the year to 2040. Okay, daily water demand per capita at the end of the year 2040, and that is 280 liter per capita per day. So, water demand per capita uh, uh, at the year 2030. So what is the symbol for that? Okay, so if you're not sure that we can always go back. Okay, daily water demand per capita, the symbol is actually CN. So when the year is 2040, okay, so the N is actually 2040. So let's jot down the, uh, that information. Okay, so C2040 is equal to 280 liters per person or per capita per day. Okay, it's the same thing. Right, so that is one piece of information that you really need to put down. Right, assume the service factor in 2040. Service factor, okay, you can always refer to the question. Service factor is actually Fn, okay. So, our service factor for this question, okay, is 0 0.99. 0 0.99, okay. Put it, that information as well, okay. F2040 is equal to 0 0.99, okay. Small f, not a capital F, okay. So, how do you change that, uh, F, okay. Okay. And this has got to be like that. So you have already got the information. So what is the question asking? <clears throat> Estimate the total daily water demand in the year 2040. So estimate the total average daily water demand in the year 2040. So what is the daily water demand then? Okay, in symbol, I mean. Daily water demand. So it says here, okay, average daily water demand. So the formula is WDN. So this is basically what we are about to find out, okay? The daily water demand. So this is the formula. Right, so write it down. 
Okay, so that's something that you like to find out. Daily water demand at the year 2040, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, yeah, 2040. So we write down as 2040 is equal to okay, Pn times Cn times Fn plus Wdtn. And Wdtn is actually the water demand due to something else, okay, for other uses such as industrial, commercial, public area, and things like that. Okay, right, so this is the formula. So that is P2040 times C2040 uh, times that value. Okay. And times uh, F2040 plus WDTN. So, subscript, okay, and this one also has to be in the subscript form. Right. Okay, we, we like to find out this WD2040. So, that's something that you want to find out. So, I'll highlight it with uh, certain colors, okay, perhaps, you know, reddish, uh, red color. And then P2040, do we have that P2040? Okay, we do not have, I think we have only P1985 and P2015, but no P2040. So, that's something, uh, this is another thing that we have to find out in order for us to obtain the value of WD2040. Okay, we need to find out this. C2040, okay, it's given already in the question, so no problem, we've already got that. So, we don't have to highlight in a red color. And F. 2040 is also given in the question, so no problems, okay? And WDTN, or WD2040, okay? The year end is actually 2040. So this is something also that we do not have. So we have to find out that. Okay, so I highlight it with red color. So how do we obtain that? Okay, I think I would like to find out this too, this thing first, because I think that's quite easy, okay? And that is equal to, okay, heavy industries plus, okay, light industries. Remember, okay, the WDTN is actually the water demand due to something else, due to, uh, other than population, okay. This is the population term, okay, due to the population living in that area. But this is up due to something else. So it actually due to the heavy industries and light industries that we have information from the questions, okay. So you know the area of heavy industries is actually forty hectare, okay. And we would like to know the usage of water at heavy industries. Okay, from this piece of information, it says that for heavy industries, 45,000 liters of water is being used per hectare per day. Okay, per hectare per day. So we have this piece of information, we have to times this with the area of the heavy industries for these questions. Okay, so we have to time that. 45,000 liters per hectare per day. Day. Okay, so this is the heavy industries part, and then we know the area of the light industries, which is 75,000 hectare. Sorry, not 75,000, but 75 hectare. Okay, so what about the usage of water at the industries? Okay, so we check at our table here or our information here. It says that the light industries are using 22,000 liter of water per hectare per day, okay, 22,000 litre of water per hectare per day. Okay, right, so 
Okay, we can cancel this hectare. Okay, hectare. Okay, cancel with this hectare. And because of the multiplication, okay, top will cancel with the bottom. So in this case, okay, the top will cancel with the bottom. So you solve that, you will get the value to be okay, 3.45 times 10 to the power 6. Okay, time 10 to the power 6 liter per day. Okay, so that is the answer. 10 to the power 6 liter per day. So we that means we have already obtained the WD T2040. Okay, so after this, we would like to find out the population in the year 2040. Then only after you obtain all this information, we should be able to obtain the WD2040 or the water demand in the year 2040.